Well, hey guys, time to go in and try this again. Uh, yeah, oh, it's gone one thing. Uh, yeah, we're back to another video today. Uh, it's well, it's time we start the um, because now we've uh, sanded everything down. It's time that we started on the the new layout. So, yeah, what well, I'm gonna do first. Uh, well, today I'm just going to do some hills, so just um, putting some plaster roll on uh, and some mould as well, but it says plaster of Paris, so um, so yeah, I'll get I'll get straight to the point in a second. Uh, I've got a new thing as well to stop any scratches on the desk. So I've got a new uh, cutter board. Um, it's an A2, no, it's A3, 2. It's A2, I think. I don't know. I, I, I believe it was A2. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're not supposed to roll this. Right. This would be useful for um, future uses. So I can measure it, I can get exact lengths out. So, um, yep. Uh, right, let me just get my, uh, let me just get the table uncovered and uh, we'll start very shortly. See you in a minute, guys. Right, guys, table's uncovered, but we won't get started straight away. Uh, just got a few things to show you guys. Uh, just want to get something out first, which is this thing, brand new item. Uh, just got to find a way to open this. Here we go. Yeah, open the table a bit wobbly. Yep, here we are. Uh, so yeah, it's best I give it a regular clean though, just because it may get paint on it. Obviously there's paint on the disc already. So when I'm making FX models or anything, or doing any buildings and that for my whole railway, uh, I can do that uh, by doing that. So, yep. Uh, well, yeah. So I guess we'll head uh, straight to the point where we uh, begin the hills though. So, yeah, let's get started with the hills. I just want to do one thing first. Uh, yeah, I need to get the wires out of the... Um, I need to disconnect the wires from my controller. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I just want to let you guys know these are Pico um, trap points. Uh, so, yeah, they are, they are compatible with... Um, they're most... Well, they are compatible with the uh, Hornby ones, so you, so just to let you guys know, so just to make sure um, if, you, if you think there's going to be problems. So, yeah. Mind you, my controller is bit out of damn cold weather. Jesus Christ. Anyways, here we are, guys. Yeah, my control looks fine. Still a bit of dust down doing. But, uh, yep. Yeah. So, what I think I should do first, um, yeah, I need to disconnect the wires from the controllers. Then, um, then, um, well, I can keep the well, obviously the green wires are connected to the CDU in the um, thingy, so I just have a tool in here somewhere that I can do wire snapping. Uh, here it is. That's a track pattern more like. Uh, well, we can we can use that if we want, but yeah, we can use that. So here we are. That's what I'm going to use. Let's cut the wires. But yeah, I will solder them back on. But 
yeah, while we're here, uh, I might have to, well, just see. Just mind you, we've got um, heat shrink covers on. So, right, let me just get, let me just disconnect the power supply wire. It's quite difficult. There we go. Not too hard. It's all good. It's fair enough now. Uh, right, next bit. Uh, right, I might have to disconnect every single wire. Uh, CDU's right there. All the web stuff in there. Uh, yeah. I've got to be careful because uh, the controller I'm using is a HM2000. So it's quite heavy. Oh god, what is this? Right. Oh, the ballast has gone to the um. Yeah, that does not sound good. I think that's better. Try a couple of times and then. Yeah, that'll do. Right. So. Yeah, I've got to disconnect the um. The wires to the CDU. Uh, so we just get the, that screwdriver out. Uh, so yeah, let me just disconnect the green wire first. Oh, wait. Wait, I can just disconnect the wires together. Yeah, there's no need to. But I can't make sure I'm cutting the right one. I just take it out. Yeah, I've got to make sure it's the correct wires. It might be difficult. So we've got a controller in here as well. I don't know if I rotate this or I might have to get it left. Alright, give me one sec guys. Okay, right, controller's out, HM2000 controller, indeed, uh, back a bit if you want to see it, uh, yeah, the points are controlled by uncontrolled AC output, so I've shown you guys before I did, so, yeah, so let me just get the, um, the green wires, but obviously there's red and blue, because um, obviously when we tried to buy the wires online, we didn't, they didn't have a... Whatever it was there. Oh, the screwdriver's too big. Just... Oh, here we are. Soldering are done. So I've just got to find out what wires to take out. That's one. It's quite difficult 
get there. Is it? Disconnect the wires from there instead. Right. Let's get in one sec. There we go. Disconnected. Disconnect the wires from uh, here because um, go one, there we go. This one can just come out. Right. I think I can remove the um. One Pico trap point out. Right there, let's keep this uh, over here. So yeah, so we're gonna have to worry about this because uh, obviously we've got, um, so I know which one goes to which. So um, yeah. So yeah, CDU's still right in there. Uh, right, I've got to get under here now, we'll just get the other one. Right, 
time. I thought everyone was having trouble. Just trying to get it through. That's all the Pico stuff gone. Now what I'm going to do next, well, next thing, I'm going to, well, because the holes are still here, I'm going to fill those with uh, this stuff. So they'll be in different spots. So with the um, tracks as well. Let's get that all filled up. So yeah, Pico tracks uh, are disconnected. Uh, the wires for wires and switches for them will be staying in here. And then whenever we're ready, we'll connect them again. So yeah, it's good, that's dry. Uh, meanwhile, I guess we're all finished. Let's get these wires out of here. Oop, what was that? No idea. Right. So, next thing, uh, it's time to um, get the um, heels sorted. So, if I can. Might do one here. One here as well. So, yep. So for this job, you'll need um, plaster, plaster roll, um, uh, uh, plaster mold or plaster of Paris, whatever you call it, and some polystyrene as well. So yeah, it's quite an easy finish. I'm not, I'm not going to put too much weight on that. I'll just put it here. That's a bit unstable, so I'll just put it here. So, yep. Uh, so, so for this one, uh, all you got to do is just put it in some water. Um, you've got to leave out 24 hours before painting. But yeah, but this is the first step of doing the hills. Well, the official first step. But the really, really the first step is... Um, to uh, apply polystyrene, so I'm just gonna, so we're just gonna move over here and uh, get it all done, dusted. Uh, got a good old knife here for cutting. Uh, this as well. Uh, I'm, I might need a felted pen as well. green marker just uh west cut stuff and yeah so so 
idea of where I need to do it. I've got my map in there, but I'm just going to place some hills there as well. Send up some guys, just give me a minute. Let's keep the lid on. So, what we're going to do first is measure out where we want to cut our hills. Um, I'm just going to do like sort of a little one. So, I want to take some measurements quick. I've got to do it. Why did I even put it there for? that length so let's go one inch here two inch well here to four just put it in random spots though Sorry, makes a bit of a mess, but it's fine. Here we are. A bit of cut out polystyrene. Looks good. Pop it here. And, uh, now I'm going to do another one. This is about that shape as well. Which is going to be a bit more smaller. So, yeah, just going to fast forward this. Okay guys, 
So here we are. So next thing, just gotta make sure this is on good old properly. There we are. Just gotta take the lid off this. There it does. There we go. Make sure it works though. Nail for it. Give me a sec. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, we've got a sec, guys. All right, just gonna use some PVA. Wait for it to come out. Well, it's blocked now. Let's just even squeeze through with what? There we go, much better. Right, yeah. Next one. Biff. <laughs> yep, another one. So yeah, let that wear off, and then uh, uh, we might just do one today because uh, a little bit busy tonight because it's bonfire night. Uh, so yeah, it looked quite good actually. So, uh, yep. So hopefully this week we should be able to start uh, doing most of the track and that. So uh, yeah, all looks good. Oh, I don't think I've got to show you guys what is actually inside. Let me just go back to for a minute. So you got, I'm not sure if you can see it, guys. That's my CDU in there, just under the switches. Let me just put my phone back on charge. It's a lot of send on. So yeah. So already it looks good. See, I'm using, I'm just using Scenic Blue uh, for, um, I'm going to have to get some more. Just making sure it's glued down properly. Just going to screw through there. See, so yeah, I might have to give it a couple of hours to dry. Long time around for hot. We've still got time, but uh, yeah.
So yeah, I was just looking at the uh, thingy. But uh, yeah, while we're here, I'll probably uh, get some stuff sanded down. A little ice sanders. So yeah, I'm just going to smooth uh, the two filled holes down with a little bit of sand. Just make sure it looks smooth. I don't have any lumps in the ballast. Supplying a bit more glue, so yeah. Uh, well, I don't know what there's else to do now, but um, what I might do now is um, well, start the track plan. So yeah, I guess I'll. Start track plan while that's drying, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, here we have the track pieces. Um, so, yep, we've got quite a lot to do here. So I'm gonna just start with the. Um, well, I'm just gonna connect the um, 
uh, the ones that do the uh, Place them on a flat surface and connect them. Just run your finger over. Uh, that one's a bit dodgy. Let's try that again. There you go, run your finger, and that looks good. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to go over there. It's going to be like a little junction. Uh, That's a big deal. Oh well. Uh, so there's going to be one. There you go. So it goes off on the branch line. Don't go through. Make sure it's the gaps. Let's get the little track done. So four pieces on one side. So
Yeah, I'll just uh, see you guys in a sec. So yeah guys, this is what the layout may look like when it's finished. Well, this is just like a little plan. But I'm just going to show you guys uh, what it might look like um, whenever it's ready for um, the ballasting. So, uh, so over here, well, I've left the gap here because uh, this is where the flexible track is going to go. Um, Basically, uh, to get over the to get over there to where the depot and that station is, uh, we're going to have to do an incline here, which might be a little bit tricky. Mm. So, yeah, we're going to have a little tunnel there as well, but make sure it's the right height. Um, fuck, I've got blood on me. Oh wait, that doesn't matter. That that won't be on the show. Uh, yeah, I'll just cut my finger somehow. Uh, I've left the gap here because I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna need another point, uh, another uh, right-handed point uh, over there. It's gonna be a little siding. Still got level crossing there. Uh, gonna be a station here as well. Uh, roads, as I showed you on the layout yesterday on my plan. Yeah, but the thing is, because uh, there's flexible track going here, it's getting me on my nerves that how am I going to do this? Uh, like, that won't do. That's just rubbish. I mean, because I've got to do a sharp bend there, it makes it a lot more tricky. So, but yeah, we'll think more about that once we get near. So, yeah, how's the glue going on? Is it still drying? Yeah. So yeah, I'll say that's enough for part one, guys. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're just 20 subscribers away from uh, 500. Uh, I'll be able to make my own merch soon, because, uh, well, I haven't got enough watch hours yet, so make sure you're watching good hours of my videos. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next part we'll sh we will should be able to start applying the um, uh, the good old um, plaster on and make a good mountain. So yeah, I guess I'll end the video here, guys. So thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.